mathematics at your fingertips. The visualization program 3D Explore Maths, whose internet address we give here at the bottom, lets you view and deform mathematical objects which you may never have heard of before. From this internet address you can download the Pascal version for Macintosh, which I am using, and also a slightly less developed Java version that runs on all computers. One of the interesting features of this program is that every three-dimensional object that the program can show can in particularly rendered in anaglyph stereo so that if you have red-green stereo glasses available these objects can be seen truly three-dimensional. Since we assume that you do not have these, we switch back to ordinary colors, we return to the regular dodecahedron and we show one of the features of the program, namely we explain how the dodecahedron is made. When you look at this picture you see the dodecahedron consists of roofs on the faces of the cube. And this is more emphasized if we deform the dodecahedron, if we deform the roofs, collapsing them to the cube. Again, we collapse through the dodecahedron to the cube and we go up again ending in a pointed polyhedron called rhombic dodecahedron. There are more things that can be done with polyhedra, but for a quick overview we switch to other categories, the plane curves. The plane curves also try to explain how these curves are made. In this case, a circle rolls on another circle in the inside and with a drawing stick draws the curve which you see. We stop the animation briefly by pressing spacebar and then you see that also the tangent construction is in this image and this helps you to imagine why the Greeks were able to, ha to handle these curves together with their tangents. Another such construction is the Lemnis gate. The drawing mechanism here consists of three rods that are connected by joints. And the midpoint of the middle rod draws the curve. They are also completely different constructions. For example, the famous curves of constant widths can be viewed. They have the same distance between parallel tangents in every direction and therefore you can roll boards on them as if these curves were circles. Have another look. Now we switch to space curves and we start with the torus knot. This knot looks somewhat complicated from the side the view is slightly improved in this rendering, but if we view it from its simpler direction, then we have it easier to visualize and we also explain why it is called torus knot. The curve lies on this donut and since the donut is easy to visualize, we can rotate the donut into the complicated position and since you can imagine how the curve lies on the donut, we can now also imagine the curve in this difficult position. These uh, curves look actually nice when they are drawn with some more geometry, for example these cubes. We switch to surfaces and start with a simple surface, simple in the sense that it is made of a family of circles, but nevertheless it, allow, it gives the things which you can view on the beach, 
with surprising reality. Another family of surfaces actually lives in four space on the three-dimensional sphere and is projected in our three-dimensional space. These torus-like surfaces are linked, which means they pass through the whole of each of the others just once and everything which you see on this picture has the same property. For example, this yellow strip is linked with this blue strip in the same way. These circles on these tori also appear in the next picture. These tori are also really living on the three sphere and are projected into our space and the circles which we just emphasized are also on these surfaces. We deform them further by changing for example this parameter and we play with these surfaces by changing their coloration. We take the default value, the inside is blue and the outside is yellow. We have a large collection of the famous minimal surfaces and the Costa surface started a rapid development around 1980. There are also user-defined surfaces where you can type in your own formulas and then look what you get, but we won't go into that here. Finally, we switch to the fractal category and our fractal contain first a collection of curves and then images of other dynamical systems. We start with the Hilbert square filling curve. It is a continuous curve which David Hilbert invented in 1819 to explain how complicated continuous curves may look. Today it is used in connection with the JPEG compression and if you download a picture from the internet on a sufficiently slow computer the buildup of the image resembles the pattern which you see on this curve. Finally we show a large collection of uh, fractal curves can be obtained in connection with the iter simple quadratic iteration z squared minus c. c is a complex constant z is a complex variable and what is being shown here is the following. We iterate a mouse point and we see that this mouse point seems to converge under repeated application of this map to an orbit of order 3, so a three points from which between which this thing is jumping and the curve separates the points which wander to infinity from those which have typically the behavior which we have just seen. So we uh, end this demonstration by returning to uh, our internet address and uh, to our logo and uh, thank you.